Humble beginnings flowing north along Green Ridge, then east around the Horn, till the lake starts and the river ends. Home for some, nourishment for others. One of Mother Nature's favorite daughters, the Matolias, is showing us why it matters so much to protect the earth and water. Each moment spent on her banks and bends, a million reasons why good rivers need good friends. When did you write that song? When did you have the time to they write that song? In between classes, in between okay. teaching. I was like, <laughs> I've just been like so, I don't know, I feel like I've been really yeah. just so in this and like filling every moment. I've been, like, wow. I, so my airy self <laughs> yeah. loves water so much. Like it's so soothing and calming for me. Mm. Like even when I was a little baby, mom would say she would, anytime she needed me to sleep, she would just put me underwater and I would just mm. pass right out. So like as soon as we got here, and I saw the river, and then they were like, oh, you're gonna do da, 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 on the Metolius. And I was like, oh, amazing. So I just had like a little commune time with the river. It was just oh. like, I'm gonna write a song for you. Yeah. What do you think, you wanna sing us a little song? Sure, yeah, I'll, I'll sing a little song. A little ditty? A little ditty, <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, I remember we were talking about this in the class and how sometimes it's good when you're writing a social justice song to really focus in on one issue mm -hmm. but then there are other times where it just feels incredibly overwhelming and like you have to you can't possibly <laughs> cover every issue at once yeah and um back when i was i was on a solo tour this past like march mm -hmm. and that was when a lot of the drag bands in tennessee were happening yeah and i can't there were a lot of other things happening i think it was like also cop city was happening at the same time yeah. and yeah, yeah. um yeah, and so, but I was like driving through all of America, and mm -hmm. I would see these billboards that were very, you know, call and I don't know, calling out certain things, yeah. and yeah, I was feeling really overwhelmed, and just had to like write a song about all of it. But I even say I'm like I can't even try to cap capture everything in yeah. one song because it's like just too much. Yeah. But yeah, I don't. Yeah, that's Amazing. called song I about America. Song about America. I can't <laughs> wait to hear it. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to play it. Nice. With California in my rear view, I stopped into a drive through I admit I'm just a sucker for convenient and fast. I swear Kansas lasts forever, billboard calling me a sinner. All my thoughts were screaming at me through the vast. Well, they grew me in a bubble, sheltered me from all that rubble, and said, baby, history is just the past. So I'm not even going to try to write a song about America. It's too big and too daunting of a task. Great Plains, stomach pains, boarded up the windows on the south side of Unmarked graves, Jesus saves. Keep your credit up and your head down. You better keep your credit up and your head down. And now I'm passing in the Tennessee, another place I'm scared to be, where they celebrate the silent band dress. And while they hold the burning fork, she's boarded a train to New York. She'll pay triple rent and learn how to repress But hey, everything's so different now With corporate pride campaigns And how Hollywood's just getting so diverse But I'm not even gonna try to write a song about America So I'll settle for a chorus and a verse Great play up the windows on the south side of town unmarked graves jesus saves keep your credit up and your head down you better keep your credit up and your head down 
city in the forest where a cop can learn to kill. The one who blames the addict is the one who made the pill. Two million in cages, yeah, we boast about free will. I feel like dying, but there's just too many hills. Oh, who the hell am I to write a song about America? But if anybody's listening, I I know things have got to change, I don't know how. Strike the match, we'll start from scratch. Just hold your head up high, don't drop your crown. I think we're coming back, we're coming back around. I think we're coming back. Gosh, your voice is so gorgeous. Thank I you. love listening to you sing so much. It's so beautiful. Thank you. Yeah. So uh, I love that song. I love the... I, keep, I always say, you know, I'm, I'm a Gen Xer. So I, for me, I always say, if we can just hold the line long enough for y'all to take care of it, we're going to be just fine. <laughs> oh, it's, so, it's such a beautiful thing. Um, even being in Nashville at so many of the protests, um, we, we've been there a lot with the uh, folks from March for Our Lives, the kids that are mostly responsible for that movement um, after the Covenant shooting that happened in Nashville. Mm -hmm. And the engagement for your generation, how deeply impassioned they are about making this world a better place overall. Um, it's so beautiful to see and it's so inspiring. And I, I love that song so much. It shows so much heart. It's kind of you know, the thing with social justice music that can be difficult sometimes is trying to kind of candy coat things and not kind of holding truth to power. Mm. Um, and that song is just such a beautiful, delicate reality check in just the most gentle way and then still so much hope at the end. Mm. I think we're coming back around. I was almost choked up and I can't yeah. sing when I'm crying. So I'm like talking just so I can not cry <laughs> until I well. have to sing. But it was beautiful. It's so that beautiful. Really means a lot. Yeah, Thank you. Really lovely. Thanks. What do you mean by holding truth to power? Yeah, just like the, you know, people, sometimes it's hard for us to admit the truth. It's like this nation, well, they like to say it's the greatest nation on earth, but in reality, we're putting babies in cages. Yeah. We've got, you know, uh, people getting murdered for looking like you and I look, for loving the way that we love and for all of those things. And so, you know, a lot of the reason we're living in some of these scary times, the reason we have to be uh, questioning, like, is it safe for me to even be in this space is because of the people who are in power kind of permitting that to be the environment. Mm. Um, yeah, and so definitely. for artists, you know, just in the great folk music tradition as, as being able to kind of tell the truth as it is, you don't have to sugarcoat it. I would love to hear something that you've written that is... Um, kind of like honing in on something specific because yeah, totally. I really struggle to do that. I think sometimes like if I really do feel passionate about a certain issue, yeah. um, I mean like that, that song, I think it came out of me feeling pretty passionate about what was happening with the drag bands and, yeah. um, like specifically trans rights being taken. Yeah. Away, actually I'll sing a song about that as well. Global. And so I yeah. want to hear something that's more specific. I had a lot of feelings about uh, the drag ban when it was instituted because one, not just having a lot of love for um, drag queens in all of my community. Like, yes, that was also true. And then also when I'm on stage, I'm almost always dressed my dapper best. So, I mean, mm -hmm. I'm always there in like a bow tie, a collar shirt or like a yeah. tie and a, you know, like I'm, I am a very proud butch lesbian. So mm -hmm. like, I'm almost always dressed in what would be considered drag by that law. Definitely. And I think the things that people didn't realize was when that law was instituted, 
because my shows are always all ages friendly and because I'm on a stage, I would have been breaking the law in Tennessee. So every night that I played a show in my hometown, I would have been at risk of being arrested for playing that show because of the way I dress and because it's an all ages show. And I had a lot of feelings about that. Um, one, just because they're so preoccupied with, uh, you know, freedom. Like we want freedom, freedom of expression, freedom, 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 yeah. except for us. Like we don't get to yeah, have, you know exactly. what I mean? Like the irony yeah. of that, the hypocrisy it's of that. Incredible. And I had just a lot of feelings about it. So the, the song that I'll sing is, uh, it's called Suit and Tie. And it is fairly specific, even though this one in and of itself kind of covers both uh, gender expression, um, as well as holding space for people who are trans, people who are non-binary um, as well. But it's really kind of just speaking directly to those folks who are saying things like, you know, yeah, we believe in freedom, but just not for you to dress how you want to dress or just not to express your gender the way that you feel like expressing your gender. Um, it's such a deeply personal thing. And the last people who should be telling us anything about it is our government. Yeah. Uh, so that's what the song is about. They were a boy they realized that wasn't them at all Never felt like one or the other Of those decals that assigned us To a bathroom stall They turned 18 Went to court Paid the fees Chose a new name to be called Until they realized that wasn't them at all I've been a girl From as far back as my memory recalls Never looked much like the others I was always too big, always too tall Loved Carolina blue, loved my he-man shoes and playing basketball. I've been a girl from as far back as my memory recalls. This world is a mess and it's getting worse as days go by. Uncivil unrest about who's a girl and who's a guy But this heart beating in my chest knows the truth I can't deny I might look good in a dress but I feel better in a suit and tie Far back as his memory recalls Never looked much like the others He was always too soft, always too small Loved to dance and sing And cut up fashion magazines For all his paper dolls As far back as his memory recalls She's been a girl Since before she knew the word trans at all Never felt much like the others Trapped inside the casket confines Of their gender's walls Moved to Tennessee now she's so scared she can barely breathe from all their hateful laws. She's been a girl since before she knew the word trans at all. This world is a mess and it's getting worse as days go by. Uncivil unrest about who's a girl and who's a guy, but this heart beating chest knows the truth I can't deny. I might look good in a dress, but I feel better in a suit and tie. Yeah, I look good in a dress, but I look better 
innocent and tired. 